Okay, well done. So we've done the warm up. We have done a physical warm up, Fast Feet Warrior. We did a body and ball warm up, the throwing and catching, rugby pass game. We did a racket warm up, tap up tennis. Again, this is all designed for beginners. So it's week one. We want to feel, sorry, we want them to feel quite safe, secure. It's quite a nerve wracking experience. So that's why we start off quite slow. We get them playing in quite a small space and just sort of passing the ball backwards and forwards to each other and something that they can achieve quite quickly. Very difficult for beginners if we bring them straight in, get them playing from the back of the court. Because once they come in, they'll make two or three mistakes, their confidence drops. So we ease them into the session. I'm also very comfortable using orange and green balls with, with adult beginners. I tend to have a mix in the basket, and I say it's up to you. Orange balls are slower, green balls are quicker. Whatever one you want to use is fine by me. Again, giving them the choice rather than me saying, you have to use this yellow ball. You have to use the orange ball. Give them a choice. Game assessment is the first game you do, and it, it does what it says on the tin. You have to assess the ability of the players. Now, you might have some pre-knowledge. So you might know, okay, they've signed up for a beginner's lesson. They're all adults, so they're not going to be very confident. They're probably not going to be able to do very much. So your game assessment has to relate your pre-knowledge. If you're working with, I don't know, performance under nines, your game assessment can be a bit more advanced. So the game assessment I'm going to show you today is really, really simple. Not, not Nikita. Nika. I was close, Nika. I'm really bad with names. Nika on that side. So all we're going to do is we're going to go over the net. So me and Nika are going to be partners. One person's going to feed. So I'll be the feeder first. So I'm going to feed the ball in underarm, and I'm going to feed the ball to Nika's forehand. So your strength. So can you show me which forehand's side you play on? That's your strongest side. So I'm going to feed the ball into your forehand. You're going to hit the forehand, and then we're going to rally. Okay, ready? So forehand side, I'm going to feed it in, and then we're going to rally. That's definitely not non-dominant hand. It's okay, it's okay. And then when the rally breaks down, We'll change over the feeder. So Nika's gonna feed, so that's my forehand side. So, so can you find my forehand? Feed, shot, and then we'll play. And then we just rally it out on those two bounces, and then it's back to my feed. So the feeder has to start off underarm. Where's your forehand again? I'm really old. There we go, so I've gotta try and find her forehand. Nikita, uh, Nika plays the forehand, and then we rally just backwards and forwards until it breaks down. You're pretty good for adult beginners. Maybe come back to my improver class later on. Because we've got nine of you, we're gonna have eight playing, one player resting. And we're gonna go maybe 30 seconds and we'll go one place left. You all know you're left from right. We'll find out, we'll find out in a minute. So get yourself a partner, spread yourselves out. One glamorous volunteer to rest, let's go. Well, that's, that's how I would as well. I'm, uh, I'm probably the elf. <laughs> Clearly, I'm the elf. No. And we use non dominant hand. Thing. Yeah, non dominant hand, Nika. Looking good at my game assessment. Okay, let's go. So, non dominant hand, you feed it into the forehand, then we play. No, non-dominant. Come on, Ed. Play, play the game. Non-dominant to feed it. You're beginners. You're adult beginners. So feed it into the forehand and play. Okay, let's hold down. Let's go one place left. Ben, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. I remember everyone's names. Let's go. Different partner. Ed. Let me down. Yes, I left at seven. But I live in Hatfield. So it's normally a 20 minute, 25 minute drive. It takes an hour in the week. But it's so painful. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, it's, it's a nightmare in the week. Okay, feed it into the forehand, and then play from there.
Nice, keep it going. And let's go one place left. So rotate round, one place left again. We do one more rotation. Let's go. So feed it into the forehand and play from there. Well done, it's a good start, I like it. Nice double-handed backhand from Robert, nice single-handed forehand. Hey, it's not bad, you're right for beginners. Interesting everyone's going double-handed backhand now. <laughs> Nice, though, Sam, good. Oh, great pickup today. And let's go one place left again. One more rotation. So feed it into the forehand, play out from there. Feed it in, play it out. So feed it to the forehand, rally the point out. Okay, let's hold that. Just remember where you are. Just, just remember what position you finished on, because we're going to go back to these positions and rotate in a few moments. Can we all come across to my right-hand side, please? Well done. Great warm-up. Let's come across to my right-hand side. So again, I'll, I'll switch out of coach mode into tutor mode. So I've done my game assessment. I've got the players in. I've warmed them up. We've started off nice and easy. Fast beat warrior, throwing and catching, tap up tennis. Now I've got them playing over net. I'm using that as my game assessment. But what have I assessed? Yeah, so the ability to hit the ball. What situation am I looking at mainly here? Oh, well, yeah, but outcome and process, nice. You tell you did your level one assisting recently. So looking more about the process, but not so much the outcome. So the process is how. Yeah, how do we do it? But let's talk about game situations, so tactics. You've all done your tactics, your, your, your five game situations, when serving, when returning. What game, is, what game situation am I assessing here? Both back, because remember, if you, if you listened at the start, we're doing baseline warrior. Obviously, your beginners, so I, I didn't assess you all the way back. Again, my pre-knowledge told me that you're not very good. Looking at some of you, I was right. Yeah, so my pre-knowledge told me, so we were doing a both back situation. What shot was I looking at specifically? Forehand. So when you set up your game assessment, you highlight one part. So you don't just open it up and say, just play points. That's, that's how we used to do it, yeah? But now we get quite specific and we zone in. And I just said, okay, feed it to the forehand and then play the point out. So what I'm really assessing is when that ball's fed to the forehand, how they're then hitting the forehand. So then I know exactly what to look for. When I assess, what did I do? Did I stand there next to the net post like most coaches? No? Did I go on my phone and Instagram, at my tennis coaching? No? What did I do? Walk, walk around. I walked around, made sure I looked at everyone. I looked at different angles. And we'll talk about later on in the day what we actually look for and look at. But I didn't just stand still. I didn't take my time doing the register or answering emails. I actually assessed, I moved around, I assessed from there. Now I've realized what's up. I've, ha I've, 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 I've spotted something in the, in the group that's not working. Because it's such a big group, it has to be generalized. Yeah, so I can't say, oh, grip and stance and hips and shoulders. And 
come back next week. Yeah, I have to generalize. So we're going to imagine, because you're all good players, so you all could do it pretty well, even non-dominant hand. We're going to imagine, though, that all the players went out and they were hitting the ball just too flat. Again, a big misconception with adults is tennis played really low. That's because TV is 2D. Yeah, and they think the ball goes backwards and forwards across the line. All right, so back to coach mode. Back in the room. Okay, well done, ladies and gents. That was good fun. You were all super tennis players. I think Wimbledon six weeks, definitely a real goal. Yeah, 10% of your prize money goes to me. We're going to go back out. We're going to do a little drill called Rally 1, 2, 3. But I really want us to focus on our forehand today. Our forehand's probably our strongest shot. It's our strength. It's a shot that most of you use all the time. Yeah, so we're going to focus on our forehand today. And... Because it's our strength, we have the opportunity of trying to push our opponent back more. But in tennis, tennis is like any sport. The closer I get to the net, the easier it is for me to win. But I want to push you all the way back. How can I do that, do you reckon? How can I push my opponent back? Hit it high. That's just such a great... Ivan, you're such a clever tennis player. You've been coming for six years, and you're still in a beginner's class, but you're doing good. Yeah? Hit the ball high. So when we go out, what we're going to focus on is keeping the ball above head height. So when the ball bounces, getting our racket face under the ball and then lifting the ball up above head height. So as the ball comes in, we're going to get under the ball. We're going to lift the ball above head height. Are you okay? Absolutely fine. No, honestly, it's fine. I've got a loud voice. I'll be all right. <laughs> Cheers. So, ball comes in. I get my racket head whir over the ball or under the ball? Under. And then from there, I'm going to push the ball above what body part? Be careful what you say. <laughs> head. Yeah, so when the ball comes in, push my racket up and the ball over my head. So the game we're going to play, thanks, Ben. Yes, some nailing names today. Ben, that side. It's called Rally 1, 2, 3, so it's dead simple. So I'll start with the ball. I'm going to feed the ball into Ben. We've got to get a rally of one above head height. Even you can manage this. I've got faith. Okay, here we go. Go get one. If I get one, you're going to stop it, okay? So I'm going to feed it into his forehand. Or was it above head height? Was it above head height? Yes, that's one. That's two, by the way. So I feed it in and you stop it. Now, now we're going to get rally at two. So above head height, one. Has to be above head height to count. Two. I stop it. Then we're going to get a rally of three. But it only counts if it goes above your head height. If you've got a really tall partner, even better. Rally of three. One, two, oh, I've got it. Three, I'm lifting that ball above head height. And we keep going. Because we've got nine of you, when we rotate round, you just carry on with your new partner at the highest score that you've set. So if we rotate round, and it, in your previous game you got seven and I got six, we go from seven. Does that make sense, how we rotate? Excellent. That was a long demo. Someone interrupted me. When we hit the ball, do we hit the ball below head height or above head height? Above! Well done. Check for learning. Okay, let's go. Back out to your original positions. Rally one, two, three with your partner. Let's go. Thanks, Ben. I'm going to have some tunes as well. Let's go. So only counts if it's above head height. So you can use both shots, but try and keep on your forehand if you can. And we're just lifting that ball up above head height.
There we go. So above head height, lifting the ball up, keeping it going. And we're going above head height. Get the racket head below the ball, lift it up. Nice head, nice height. There we go. Push the ball up. We're lifting. Well done, very good. There we go, push it up. Okay, let's go, Wobbly's left. Wobbly's left, carry on. Let's go, lift the ball up, grab head height. Keep it going. Nice, Nico, well done. Nice, Matt. Go, on, Wilson, you can get that. Nice backhand, Wilson, lifting the ball up. Ben looking nice and casual as normal. Come on, Ivan, lift that ball up higher. Get underneath it, lift it up. Okay, let's hold that. Back on the outside trom line for me. Yeah, definitely not, not, not tunes, not tunes now. Not feeling this. It's like a dodgy wedding, it feels like. All right, well then, so we've done a game assessment. We've down, now done a bit of teaching. Again, I've, I've focused on the forehand. What technical information I've given you so far? Hittable high, that's it. Hit the ball high, I told you how to do it. Rack your head, under the ball, lift it up. Short, simple, something they can follow. You all did it really well, you're so good. Such a great coach you've got, that's what it is. Now we have to do what we call a progression. So we have to make the game move on a little bit. When you progress the drill, you can introduce a couple of things. You can introduce a shot before or after the forehand. So I'm gonna introduce a shot before. So now we're gonna serve non-dominant handed. Okay, so we're gonna play the same game, but now we're gonna serve. But all the way to do the serve is again, focus above head height. So you're gonna lift the ball up, you're gonna high five the ball above head height, and then you're gonna play. Okay, so again with the serve, head height up, high five above head height, and then play. Uh, thanks Ed, bowling team, didn't have to, but thanks so much for putting your hand up, you're so keen. So imagine we're getting a rally of three. So I'll start with the serve, above head height, one, two, three, Ed will stop it. He will then start with the serve for number four. So overhead serve, one, I'm still lifting my forehand up above head height, two, three, above head height here, four, stop it, Ed then serves again. Happy? So what, what other shot have we introduced now? Serve. Do we serve above head height or below head height? You lot, amazing tennis players now. So back out to your positions, but now bring the serve into as well. Non-dominant hand, and it's on camera. So whoever's here, great. You can see it, oh. Okay, let's go. Are you playing non-dominant? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't feel you're playing non-dominant. <laughs> okay, little gentle overhead serve, high five the ball in. I am rally, but as we're rallying, keep the ball above head height. Keep it going up. Okay, let's go. Wobbly's left. Wobbly's left. Change your partner. Highest score. Remember, we carry on from there. Let's go. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Lift the ball up above head height. Keep it going.
Great serve. Like it, Wilson, good. Lovely height from Ben. Lovely height from Ivan. Lots of height from Ed. Love the height, Ed. Matt's going high. Sam and Robert are going high. Nick is going high. If you're comfortable, you can move further back. If you're comfortable and you want to play further back, let's go. If you want to go back towards the baseline, feel free. Nice serve, Ivan. Nice touch above your head. It's good. Right, let's go one place left. One place left. Second to last rotation. Okay, let's go. High five to start us off. Lift the ball above head height. Keep it going. My nice serve, Matt. Not convinced about this music. Yeah. Not feel. I'm not feeling it for cardio. Yeah. Like some kind of mad fitness video. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well done. Let's hold it there. Come across my outside timeline to my right. <laughs> 